Hey everyone, in this video, let's compare Thunderbird with Proton Mail. In order to do so, here we are starting with Proton Mail, and we're at Proton.me. And uh, if you're unfamiliar with Proton Mail, it is an email service that's based out of Switzerland, uh, Swiss based. So you know, this, uh, if, if, if you uh, know anything about Switzerland, Switzerland is oftentimes, you know, uh, noted for, you know, people will put their money in a Swiss bank account. And uh, uh, so there's, I think, some implication there when it comes to Proton Mail and it comes to the, uh, um, the, the, the ethos of the Swiss government and how it handles your money. I would assume it's sort of a similar thing to how it is that they handle your information. So they both have an emphasis on privacy, and uh, that's something here with Proton Mail: secure email that protects your privacy, keep your conversations private with Proton Mail, an encrypted mail service based in Switzerland. So if again, if you know anything about Switzerland and you know about uh, uh, Swiss bank accounts and things of that sort, it's oftentimes mentioned in movies. Then that kind of is an implication there in terms of like how much they handle your privacy so what makes encrypted email better because what's in your email is your business most popular email providers such as gmail outlook and yahoo scan the content of your emails and use your email address to create a detailed profile on you and profit from your data. Proton Mail's end-to-end -end encryption and zero access encryption ensure only you can see your emails. Not even Proton can view the content of your emails and attachments. So if that's something that's important to you and privacy and encryption is something that's important to you, uh, and just the idea of a uh, uh, an email service that's based in Switzerland sounds attractive to you, well, then you might wanna take a look at Proton. Let's compare that with Thunderbird. And uh, here we are at Thunderbird.net. And one thing, a uh, few things here we can talk about with Thunderbird is that Thunderbird is free and uh, you can donate if you wish. It is open source. And um, that is something that for many people is important. Um, it's funded by user donations. We don't collect personal data, sell ads in your inbox, or secretly train AI with your private, private conversations. Also, it's part of the Mozilla family. So if you're a fan of Mozilla Firefox, then Thunderbird might be a logical decision for you. If that's uh, something that you're interested, you're looking for an alternative, for your email, then you might want to consider Thunderbird. And if you're already a fan of Mozilla, then Thunderbird might be the way to go. There's also the Thunderbird mobile app. So you can rest assured that not only are you getting access to your email on your desktop, but you can also gain access to that on the go as well. We'll just take a quick look here and see if we have any information here with Proton Mail and whether or not it has an app yes it does so here we go we have uh they have their apps as well on google play in the app store so they both have their apps they both have an emphasis on privacy and security the difference that uh, stands out to me is um, that uh, thunderbird is based from mozilla and proton mail has that uh, uh, origin in switzerland so that um, is if that seems like a, a good idea to you, something that you're interested in, then you might want to go for that. So let's just take a look at some other information here. So Proton Mail is a web-based email management platform that helps businesses securely transmit encrypted email between users, between both inside and outside of the organization with features like end-to-end -end encryption, zero access to user data, and an open source cryptography so seems like proton mail has uh, that open source uh, uh identity as well so you know the, as far as the difference between the two um you know it's uh, if i was going to say what my preference would be like just based on sort of superficial information i might go for proton mail uh just because you know it's um uh, that, that whole idea of, of Swiss based email, it's sort of an interesting concept. And in terms of privacy and encryption, um, you know, something that's based in Switzerland, I mean, if you're looking for that privacy and encryption, then 
then Proton Mail kind of sounds like a given. Um, Thunderbird, you know, if you're familiar with Mozilla and you're a fan of Mozilla, then Thunderbird may, might seem like a good idea. The only thing I would mention in that regard is it seems as though Mozilla might be uh, having some problems these days and might not uh, be in, in enjoying quite the popularity that it once did. So that's something that I would kind of take into consideration, you know, if there was any potential for uh, interruption to my email service because uh, Mozilla uh, uh, full or something like that. I'm not saying that that would happen, but that's just kind of something I consider on the top of my head. But um, Thunderbird uh, is an on-premise email management platform designed to help businesses securely handle, search, organize, archive, and filter email conversations from within a unified platform with features like tabbed email smart folders and add-ons manager. When comparing Thunderbird and ProtonMail, it's easier to consider their key differences. ProtonMail is an email service provider that offers end-to-end -end encryption and secure email transmission, while Thunderbird is an email client that can be used with various email service providers, including ProtonMail. Uh, ProtonMail has a user-friendly interface and is accessible via webmail or mobile apps, where Thunderbird has a more traditional desktop email client interface. Uh, I wonder if that information might be uh, uh, out of date because they both seem to have mobile apps, um, but it seems that perhaps Thunderbird is more, uh, the desktop version is a little bit more uh, geared towards the desktop and Proton Mail, it seems might be more geared towards mobile apps. So that could be uh, the distinction there that's being made. Uh, Proton Mail offers additional security features such as encrypted email storage and zero access to user data, making it more secure option for businesses and individuals concerned about Evo email privacy. However, Thunderbird provides more flexibility in terms of customization and add-ons allowing users to extend its functionality. So that's interesting to note as well. And that's something that I would take into consideration if I was going to choose one or the other. Um, so ultimately the choice between Thunderbird and ProtonMail depends on individual preferences and needs. If security and ease of use are top priorities, ProtonMail might be the better choice. If customization and flexibility are more important, Thunderbird could be the way to go. It's also worth noting that ProtonMail can be used with Thunderbird via the Proton Mail bridge, which allows for seamless encryption and decryption of emails. So when it comes to the two of them, you know, in, in many ways, they're very evenly matched. It's hard to really say if there's an advantage to one or the other. They both have uh, um, some in, in interesting uh, uh, selling points. Um, my instinct personally would be to uh, to go with Proton Mail just because there's something about that uh, Swiss uh, that whole idea of the Swiss bank account or the Swiss email that's uh, something that's kind of interesting. But it seems that maybe Thunderbird is uh, uh, a little bit more flexible when it comes to customization and also when it comes to its desktop interface. It seems a little bit more engineered towards that. So we'll go ahead and leave it at that. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.